Hi, I'm going to go over in this presentation, which is for the second video for the fourth week of the ISTF proposal funding workshop after a week hiatus, how to find funding sources for your project, whether as an individual or as an ISTF chapter. Now, there are several approaches that we will go over. One is paid grant directories. Another is free grant directories for which you can just get, don't have to pay anything down, but it's harder to come by information for international projects. And then there are some other strategies you can consider. Okay, with um, funding directories, information sources of grant proposal on grant funding sources with a paid subscription. The two I'm gonna focus on are the Foundation Center and Instrumental. I have access to these two sources and I have done searches for the participants in this workshop so that you can use those uh, to locate inf information on funding sources for your country and the kind of project you might be interested in. So consider first the Foundation Center. At the free level, they do have some basic information on different funders. And if you have the name of a funder, you can search there for some basic information. I had access to one of the paid levels and I have made available uh, over 200 of those funders at this link for the course participants. And the information is available in the guide I sent you on how to use that list to get um, near some funders that will be interested in your region. The other source I looked at was Instrumental. And there is some information available for free on funders on their website. And I did a search with the paid version again and have made that list available to course participants. So you'll need to use again, those two comp compilations which are available at these links by the guidelines I sent you by email. Okay, in addition, there are many other uh, pay-based directories of funding opportunities, and you can see some of them at the list below here at the bottom at learngrantwriting.org. So the next thing we wanna consider then are free directories, information we can get for free. This is harder to come by, of course, but since funds are tight, um, I tried to find everything I could of this nature for you. One free directory are the Terra Viva Grants uh, directory. And there are several groups that are there um, that are related to forestry. And each of these links you could click on in the presentation to be able to get to that source that list. Another source of free information on grant on funding for international um, organizations is at Funds for NGOs. Now they do run some advertisements on their paid programs, but read around the ads for information on the latest funds for NGOs. And they have some nice resources also to help you with improving proposal writing and managing um, an NGO or your chapter training manuals. And then there were a bunch of other free directories. This is what I could find. In particular, I'd like you to pay attention to the first list at the top, which Daniel Abu, my co-conspirator in these workshops, he compiled the list and it's available at the link here uh, on the presentation. And then there are a plethora of other potential places you might look for funding. These, however, are not as nice as the paid subscription grant directories because you can't use search terms really to get very far, but nevertheless, these are healthy lists. And then there are other strategies for finding grants you might wanna consider. You can sign up for free newsletters, including from GrantStation, that has an international edition here. Sign up for that at the link. And then you can also search their backlog of newsletters for 
funding opportunities that you might be able to take advantage of. Another thing you might want to do is consider, hmm, I know of an NGO that has a purpose similar to mine. I wonder who funds them. Well, there's a way you can get at US organizations that have a purpose similar to yours to see who funds them. And that is you can go to this IRS website, the International Revenue Service of the U United States website and look up by the name of the organization for these 990 forms in which they have to list the different um, organizations that give them money. Another way to locate potential sources of, who, of grant makers who might be interested in you or help you pin this down is go to the website of a particular grant maker and see who they have funded in the past or who they're funding right now. An example is the Canada International Development Research Center. Now they're reorganizing, so they're not currently funding projects, but you can check the, check the past projects to see what they funded and see who they might wanna work with in the future. You can also on most, on many foundations websites will list who they are giving grants to. So you can see more detail on what kind of projects they're interested in and where they're really focusing their money, what regions of the world or what countries. The last thing I would like you to remember is creating your in-country network. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago to find the NGOs that are like-minded in your country or region and network with them. You can share resources, for example, about upcoming funding opportunities. Then there are other references here you can consider to looking at that help give you the broader context um, for the world of, non, of nonprofit organizations and how they get funding, all that kind of thing. For your homework then, I would like you to identify out of all these lists, two funding sources to which you could actually submit your proposal for your topic and your country taking into account the themes and locations that these funders are interested in. So I say thank you and I'll see you in the next um, video.